Hello guys, welcome back to the lecture 4 of exploratory data analysis. Uh, into the series of exploratory data analysis, we have already discussed three lectures about the data set info, checking and dealing with the null values or missing values and checking and removing the duplicate data into the data. And then uh, up to in today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the correlation among the numerical features. Okay. So the correlation among the numerical features, right? So it is important, very much important aspect that we wanted to uh, see today because what we wanted to do is that like we wanted to find out, okay, how much uh, two features are correlated so that what we can uh, wanted to do analyze with that, all right? So that we can be able to understand that, okay, if there are two features which are highly correlated, it means that they have the same importance on the target variable right for the two features so what we can do is that like we can do a re, uh, we can do the data reduction on the basis of the correlation among the features i'm going to do a start right uh decoding right into this one so i have already downloaded one data set right uh, that is census income data set so i have already explained about this data set you can go uh, and check it this data set on the uci repository okay and please do watch my uh, previous lectures also if you have not watched uh, those lectures okay so you would be able to know about the data set info and all so i have already recorded uh, three lectures and this is our four lecture please do watch that that is mandatory right and then uh, come back to this lecture so let's move ahead now we will start the coding part so what i will do just i will import the pandas as pd okay and then I'll just read the data as data uh, okay so it is going to say that okay no okay so pandas type sorry for that uh, then i'm going to write it here data equals to pd dot read csv and i'm going to put the path at here uh, of the data so just i will copy the path and put it here right and then i will just put the backslashes to avoid the unicode characters right so that it uh, does not understand anything as unicode character okay so now if i'm going to read it okay so uh, now if i'm going to do the data dot head it is going to show me the first five values of the data okay so you can see it here like age is one numerical feature right then final bit is second one uh, right education is third one uh, similarly, capital gain is fourth one, right? Capital loss is fifth one, and hours per week is sixth one. Okay, so we have these six uh, numerical features set here. If I will check that uh, data dot info, right, you will be able to see that as well. Like one, two, three, right, four, five, and six. Okay, so now what I need to do is that like I wanted to form, find the correlation among the numerical features. Okay, so what I need to do dot correlation and it is going to see the so the correlation among the features okay so you can see what at here uh, you can see like uh, um, age in uh, age to age it is worth showing one because uh, definitely from, from age to age it is going to show one only then final weight it is showing minus 0 0.07 0 0.03 0 0.07 0 0.05 0 0.068 okay and similarly with the final weight so we are not able to observe it here right so in, in any of the case there is high correlation among the features okay that's why i wanted to tell you at here like uh, these all the features which are numerical at here these are all independent from each other so we don't need to do uh, any any feature reduction as of now okay so that is one important aspect that i wanted to tell you right so if i wanted to show you this one into the heat map as well that we can also show that right so so what i need to uh, heat map so i what i need to do that so just i need to import the seaboard import seaboard as sns okay and then i have to write sns dot set and uh, just i have to write um, rc okay rc and goes to sugar by g figure dot fix size fix size and then i have to write it here 
12, 12. So I wanted to plot in 12, 12. Okay. And then I wanted to write it here session as dot heat map. And then I will write data dot core. And then I have to write annotation equals to two and not equals to two. Okay. So let me do it. And you can see it here, like it is going to give me a heat map F here, like heat map for the values. If I wanted to reduce the size, so it is looking too much good. So I can reduce that also. Okay, so let me more reduce it like 5 by 5. So you can see uh, the correlation at here okay so where there is high correlation okay so it is going to give the uh, like with the most red or uh, like more uh, pinkish color but like you can see at here like all the values are in dark so that means like okay most of the values are not uh, correlated okay so none of the features are correlated at here like if two values have the correlation it is going to show the highest feature as you can see at here age with the age it is going to show co high correlation final bit with the final bit it is going to show the high correlation so i hope you are able to understand this right into when we will discuss about the case study some of the data right at the last of this lecture uh, right at the last of the all the series of the lecture then uh, i will definitely go through some use cases two to three use cases then for the complete idea into a single lecture then definitely you will be able to understand about the whole concept okay so i hope like you have understood about the correlation in numerical features thank you for watching this lecture bye bye meet you into the next one